how to outslay the lobby in rank play today i've got another youtube video for you guys to enjoy i'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can outslay your opponents and your team in every single rank lobby you guys get into let's break down the gameplay playing some control on fortress if you guys enjoy the video make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for some more competitive gameplay so let's get right into it and go through my thought process so starting off right here i think the trick is to stun yourself to get yourself into the momentum and realize that you are very very stupid that's a very good start from me stunning myself you know feeling a bit cracked but my teammates go off they managed to get four down and now we're in the spawn trap playing control right here defense is so so broken it's so easy to win so what you have to do is make sure on your defenses you're just not allowing your opponents to get any ticks and i know it sounds stupid it may sound very very obvious but that is the real key here especially for this map i think it may most of the time it will go to the round five so what you have to do is make sure that on your defenses you're not allowing your opponents to get any ticks you're suffocating them in their spawn and just making sure that you win the round without losing a lot of ticks and what that does is it sets you up for the round five to get defense unfortunately that is the way the game is played now it is basically going to 2-2 and then on your fifth round if you have defense you should win the lobby but right here looking at my teammates so my teammates are on the right hand side so what i'm doing is i'm setting myself up to make sure i don't die i'm in a power position i'm using an assault rifle i'm not in a rush here and i want you to notice i'm going to tell you i end the game with the most kills and the most damage but i want you to notice my play style i'm not playing really aggressive i'm not over challenging i'm literally sitting back playing passive i'm actually playing for the objective i wasn't even going for the most kills there right there was a really good example of the pre-fire pre-fire is one of the best methods in the game that i don't see a lot of players use especially at the lower level pre-firing is so so important you see a lot from the pros they actually pre-fire a lot in situations where they're going to expect an enemy to push them but i see a lot at the lower level that players don't pre-fire and that's definitely something i think you should take advantage of okay right here my controller bugged i had to disconnect my keyboard on my controller this isn't what i mean by pre-firing i don't mean just shooting the wall like nothing and just moving like i don't know what that was but yeah anyways right here it's really really good round from us we absolutely fry them and they don't even get a single tick so what we've done is we set ourselves up for that round five potentially so this next offense what our main goal is literally just to get a few ticks and be ahead of the game i don't really care about winning the offense because i know it's extremely difficult of course we're going to go for the victory but my main objective is just to get some ticks off and that's what we're going to be doing let's see how we go about the offense so again defense is very easy you just kind of set up in the building just play your corners you play your areas and just basically spawn trap them but let's see what we do on this offense i don't actually remember the break but let's see what we do so when i'm using an assault rifle what i like to generally do here on this break is kind of watch his top right window because it's such a popular spot so right here i'm just sitting here and seeing what we can do i do get stunned so right there's a really bad mistake from me what i should have done looking back at that is chuck a trophy system that is such an obvious choke point that we're going to come through so for them it's so easy for them to chuck their stuns chuck their grenades and really really work that angle okay right here is so important our teammate got three kills so it's so important to work on that it's very very hard to catch a break especially on offense so as soon as our team got an opening it's time to push forward here practicing my snakes selling's gonna be proud of me right here if he watches this one look at that we get one i'm practicing my snakes my form's looking good we go for the second guy things are looking good right here what we're trying to do we're getting those ticks up we're getting those ticks up very very fast we're triple stacking the hill this is absolutely perfect oh okay maybe not that's all right let's see how he kills me okay so just a quick little tip as well sometimes when i die when i'm not really expecting the death or i'm quite impressed by the kill i actually watch the kill cam just so i can kind of see what they did and maybe see if something i can add to my game that's the way how i'm constantly trying to improve so right there's a little wall bang that i don't actually do so going forward it's something i'm definitely going to implement into my game i would have known that if i skipped the kill cam so right here things are looking so good for us we may not necessarily win the round but we've got the first tick so as i jump down here we get one and now it's just about playing with aggression i've got the smg here so what i'm gonna do is literally play in their spawn and see if i can get some easy kills and i'm not going just to get the kills what i'm trying to do is stop the reinforcements from them so we see a guy here wait for him to get in the open as we get one and now i'm gonna go and jump in the building okay let's see how we approach this gunfire we go with some nice centering onto him we get him one shot i'm just gonna jump around there okay maybe not i'm gonna sit in the corner let's see how we play this okay so we managed to take him out and right here i'm just being a real nuisance in their spawn although my teammates are kind of getting trapped at the back i'm just trying to cause a bit of havoc in their spawn allowing the enemies to push me and hopefully i distract them for long enough of a time so right here i don't know how we're gonna play this let's see what happens okay so i do get caught out there i maybe should have stayed in that building but that's all right but as you can see once again i'm not really playing heavily for kills i'm kind of just playing patient and letting them find me and again i am getting the kills they are coming to me so i really don't want you guys to worry about chasing the kills when i talk about how to outslay 
it's not necessary that you have to chase the kill. It's more playing your position and playing your life. Just kind of just working on your timings. I feel like pacing is a big issue that a lot of people have. And it's something that I feel like I'm quite good at. So I'm going to try my best to kind of explain that to the best of my ability. So right here, once again, we are three down. What I'm trying to do again is I'm just trying to be a nuisance and get into their spawn. The reason why I'm trying to get into their spawn and not just flood the hill with my teammates is, is just the kind of the way I like to play, to be honest. I like to be a nuisance. I like to be in their spawns. I like to be there, thereabouts, getting the kills and just making sure that I'm a distraction. I want them to look for me because I feel like that's when I'm at my best. When I'm playing the credit corners, people are chasing me. I just feel like that's where I excel the most. Oh my god, absolutely fry that second guy. I mean, you can't really teach that. I don't know how to explain. That's just me gunning someone, you know. It is what it is. Just absolutely fry that guy. But it's alright, 1-1. One, one. But I'll take that. We managed to get three ticks. Three more than our opponents. Into our second defense and we're one to one right now. Both teams won our defense, but we are up by three points. So, okay, here's a perfect example. Exactly what I said last round. When I got stunned there, it was such an easy kill for my opponents. So I did the exact same thing and they did the same mistake as me. They didn't put a trophy down and it really didn't help them out in that situation. Now, pacing and positioning is really important here. Although the defense is very easy, it's very important to set yourself up. As I say that, I jump and smack my head on the lorry window. So I'm not really setting myself up there. I try to get up that lorry because it's such a good position but unfortunately that jump spot didn't work i feel like i have to go a bit more back in the other jump spot i just thought i'll try this one i know how to get there going the other way but i don't know why i kept trying this yo i'm trying it again oh no it's gonna be yep i remember yep that was embarrassing but it's all right we get three down and now my main aim here is just to stop them from pushing the left gate because once they get through that left gate exactly where that player just snuck through now once they're through to b sometimes it's very difficult to get them off so my main objective is just to sit here and kind of stop the reinforcements i'm going to jump down now let's see how we play this so i can see a guy on a i'm just going to wait oh that was really unfortunate timing so I feel like the reason why I didn't kind of rush out in the open there is because I thought that somebody could come from the left gate. They could have been caught with spawn and it would have been really bad timing for me. So what I tried to do is get the angle because I could see the enemy and just see if I could take him down. But that's all right. Our team is doing a really good job here. We didn't actually do much this round. And again, this is why I really want to stress the importance here. We still managed to end the game with the most kills. And looking back at it, this round we didn't really do much. We only got a few kills. Our teammates absolutely dominated. And this was like a fairly simple round. But we still managed to get the most kills. So I think it's really important to not adapt your game too much if things aren't going well of course to adapt your game is good but sometimes people panic i feel like and they don't go to their fundamentals they like to play completely different and maybe see if they get different results but sometimes just trust your gameplay see things out and maybe it will work out in the end i do know that in the last round i absolutely pop off and that's probably what allowed me to outslay the team and win us the game can we win an offense we are an offense fortress control round four this is for the victory Okay, I'm not moving. This is a good start, you know. This is just what you want to see in a breakdown on my own gameplay. Yep. I don't know what I was doing there, but I just let two of my teammates die. Not a good start. Let's see if I can redeem myself. My teammates pushed out here, and I'm just taking my time. See what I can do. Some poor shots there. Try taking him out. Oh, my teammates... Oh, no. That's not a good start to the round, is it? That's a very poor start. And the reason why I'm so disappointed right here is because it's so important to start off well, especially in Fortress on the offense. It's so, so important. Right there, I saw the guy's diamond. Managed to take him out. And I'm just playing a bit slow here, seeing if I can get another pick and once again and I'm in my favourite spot just trying to sneak through and seeing what I can do here and just being a nuisance I'm using my sound cues I spot an enemy on the stairs going to take him out right here a quick little tip for you I'm not sure if you like a lot of you probably know this but if you look at a hard point or a control point and you can see that the kind of the floor is red it means that an enemy is in that location and I know for a lot of you that might sound really obvious but some people don't know that so it's a real tip to look out for when I notice that the floor is red I straight away look around and make sure I can spot the enemy before I get onto the point because if i get onto the point it will turn to contested and that means they'll get the notification and they'll start looking for me good jump shots right there and well we're not off to a terrible start right now i'm really trying to play aggressive here although i'm playing as an assault rifle i'm really up the pacing we managed to get one let's see how we take oh that's an unfortunate one i got the first shot off but he did beat me with the smg but we are getting some control of a here and they did get a team kill so as two goes down this is a very very big opportunity what am i doing okay i'm losing for watching my gameplay back i was i was gassing myself up i was like yo we're playing with aggression i just started looking at a lamppost like i started analyzing the lamppost 
Alright, oh, it's alright, that's alright. I better redeem myself here. Okay, so big kill there. Really good shot set to take out the second. Okay, I remember that. This is a very good play here. So I'm going to put the trophy down, and what I'm doing is watching the window. Now, the reason why I'm watching the window, because of course there's my left side, which is exposed. First of all, we just got a few kills, so I know there's still going to be a while. Second of all, I've got a trophy system right behind me. So 99% of the time, the enemies are going to chuck their equipment before they run at me. So as soon as I can hear kind of stuns and grenades go off, that's when I'll get it's my cue to turn around. So for now, the main danger for me was the window. Speaking of window, we jump through and we're on a five streak, seeing what we can do. If we can take out the enemies, we get one. The second guy, is he going to challenge me? No, he's not. He's going through. He's running away. He's absolutely scared. Going to jump through the window, go for the pre-fire, as I mentioned earlier. Right here, I see where he is. I'm going to snake him. And this is just a perfect opportunity here of our team absolutely annihilating them. Playing so much pressure. We're playing with so much aggression there. We're literally suffocating them. I get the two-piece. And here it is, the end of the round. Eight versus three. Surely things are over. How are we going to close it out? Let's see. We get one out the window. We get the pistol out. We absolutely annihilate the second. Just like that, we get the merciless. And that should be game what a victory what a performance from the team i think i was the lowest level in the lobby so you know what it's a pretty typical performance getting the most damage and the most kills in the game we'll take that really good performance oh look at that kill cam right there deal with the final kill switching guns showing off the bit of a trick shot there we managed to get 31 kills with over 3,000 damage hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did drop a like and i'll catch you guys in the next one